Greetings, loved ones. When psychological abuse of a child is examined, researchers generally agree it is usually impossible to establish a simple cause and effect relationship. There is rarely a simple relationship between an act of violence and its consequences. This is even true in cases of child psychological abuse, which is often associated with other forms of abuse. Today we're going to talk about the effects of psychological abuse on children's mental health and well-being. So please help us get these messages out. Please subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Hit that like button and notification bell, and please share these messages with others. You could save a life. Child emotional abuse is linked to poor mental development and difficulty making and keeping strong relationships. It can lead to problems in school and at work as well as criminal behavior. A study at Purdue University reported that adults who were victims of emotional or physical abuse as children have a higher risk for developing cancer. They also experience higher rates of alcohol and drug abuse. Children who are emotionally or physically abused and do not seek help can become abusers themselves as adults. So let's look at the effects researchers have observed on psychological abuse on children. Number one, children who are victims of psychological abuse experience more emotional problems than children who are not victims of this type of abuse. Two, those who are victims of direct psychological abuse are more affected, they're more socially withdrawn, they're depressed, insecure, and much more likely to engage in behavior that puts their safety at risk. Number three, a large number of children who are psychologically abused or neglected have serious behavioral problems. And number four, a greater proportion of children who witness domestic violence are anxious and insecure than those who do not. So what are the conditions producing effects of child psychological abuse. Children who are victims of psychological abuse live in families grappling with many problems such as families that are struggling with substance abuse, families that are in a precarious economic situation, one or both parents are on welfare or employment uh, benefits, parents are separated or divorced, there are mental health problems in the family, families are socially isolated, Maybe there are criminal activities taking place, uh, physical health problems, intellectual disability. Single parent or blended families are overrepresented compared with the general population. <clears throat> it is completely possible for a child who has been emotionally abused to recover. Seeking help for the child victim is the first and most important step toward recovery. The next effort should be to get help for the abuser and other family members. So here are some national resources that can help in these efforts, and they will be listed in the information for this video. The National Domestic Violence Hotline can be reached 24-7 via chat or phone at 1-800-799-7233 or TTY at 1-800-787-3224 and can access service providers and shelters across the country to supply free and confidential support. Then there's the Child Welfare Information Gateway. They promote the safety and well-being of children, teens, and families and provide links including family support services. You can also go to healthfinder.gov which supplies information and links providing support for children and families on many health topics including child abuse and neglect. <clears throat> and then the organization Prevent Child Abuse America which promotes services that support child well-being and develops programs to prevent child abuse and neglect. The National Child Abuse Hotline can be reached 24-7 at 1-800-4-A-CHILD or 1-800-422-4453 for information on free help in your area. In addition, each state usually has its own child abuse hotline that you can contact for assistance. Remember, according to the CDC, over half of all the children in the world, this, oh, the, the, the pain in my heart to say this, one billion children ages 2 to 19 every year experience violence. So the question is not if you will encounter a victim of violence. The question before God is what will you do when you do encounter them? You could be the person who saves a life. You are called. We are all called to be champions for justice. <clears throat> if you're a victim of violence, I want you to listen to me. 
I want you to know that you are valued. You are loved. You are intelligent. And yes, no matter what anyone else says, you are worthy. God does not want you to suffer violence. He wants you to live free from violence and peace and tranquility. And I want you to know that there is a way out. It is not your fault. Abuse is not love. And you are not alone. If you're suffering violence, reach out to someone today. If you find yourself in a dangerous situation, call 911 for help. And if you know of a child or other person suffering violence, tell the authorities. In our next episode, we will talk about indicators of emotional child abuse. Until then, God bless you.